I feel it in my bones. I feel it ringing, and I can't help but sing. Oh Lord, please listen. It's on the brink coming. It's my voice preaching. It's my heart racing. My pen scribbling. It's me running, running. Oh, 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 oh. The voice you just heard was that of a teenage girl who participated in Felicia Pagan's senior project at Boston Arts Academy. In her project, Felicia taught girls in an after-school program how to use music for emotional release and healing. The rest of the music you'll hear throughout this slideshow is performed by Boston Arts Academy students. I'm Grace Rubenstein, reporting for Edutopia. What's really impressive about the caliber of the art that students at Boston Arts Academy produce is that most of the kids come into their freshman year with no prior artistic training. They've grown up in city schools with few resources, and then at age 14 or so they're plunged into a rigorous classical arts training, and by age 18 they're producing phenomenal art. The strongest thing I noticed when I visited the school in March was how close-knit the students and teachers were. As I visited, I saw classes having candid discussions about the painful parts of being a teenage boy of color or a teenage girl of color. There were teachers stopping kids in the hallway to check in with them about their work or how their art projects were going. And Teachers in their staff development meeting, in fact, were talking about things that I don't think I've ever heard staff development meetings focus on. They were talking about how to prevent their own prejudices, whatever those might be, from impacting their work in ways that are detrimental to kids. But the key here, I think, is that Boston Arts Academy is not warm and fuzzy and fluffy. It's a very serious place, and the teachers have serious expectations of their students. The message is like one that my mom always preached as a great way to raise children, that you can and will achieve great things, and we'll back you up. We're here to help you and empower you to achieve those things, and you will. This is how Headmaster Linda Nathan, who helped found the school, describes this philosophy. It's too simple to say, if you believe, then they will perform. But that is a part of it, and then we work really hard, and we raise money for kids to do summer programs, and we raise money so faculty can have professional development. We really think about issues of race, issues of class, you know, what does it mean if you let kids just get over? What does it mean if you don't give kids enough work? How is that preparing kids who are behind in the eight ball anyway? Is that really what we want to be doing for kids, for kids, kids of color? No. So how do we hold kids to the same standards that the rich schools or the suburban schools do? You can't do that if you don't love them. It's that balance of toughness and love that I think makes Boston Arts Academy successful. And it is successful. About a half dozen students performed with a professional theater company in an original play that the Academy had commissioned. And when I saw the play on a Friday night, except for their age, I honestly couldn't tell the student actors apart from the professionals. Their portrayals were strong and honest and, above all, disciplined. They weren't spotlight seekers, they were serious actors. Last year also, the school's jazz band played two shows to packed houses at Riles, which is a very popular jazz club in the area. What the students told me when I talked to them was that they work extremely hard here, going from rehearsal to rehearsal to bed to school and back to rehearsal again. But they also said they love to do it because school is a place where they are known and supported and where the students and teachers are tolerant not only of different races, but different ideas and ways of being. Lee Beard, a visual art major who was a senior last year, I think said it best when he told me, you come to this school saying, I want to be an artist. And you think it's going to be one thing, and you end up making art galleries, building portfolios, and learning your strengths. 